What's good, YouTube? It's that boy, Kobe. Mr. Bang Bang. Get it? Yeah. Anyways, I'm back. Got a tutorial. I'm pretty sure y'all saw it in the beginning. But, you know, I'm going to play it back again because I'm just that guy. But anyways, here it go. Yeah. Adam many doors. Yeah. So, that's the tutorial that we are going to be doing today. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, let's get into After Effects. Because, of course, that's what it's going to be in. And, yeah. But if y'all could see, let's turn off this fucking CC. If y'all could see, like, you can see the text coming through the door. I had made this mistake and messed up when I did it. But, let's get into it. So, anyway, what you want to do? Drag your clip into it. Everything here will will be in the description so y'all can follow along, you know. Uh, which one is it? Door 2. PNG. Not that one. Not that one. Okay, yeah, that's one. Boom. Door. See it there. See right there. Let's hide that. Anyways. First, what you want to do is, of course, track it. You want to track this. So, if you got any camera tracker, Buju, the Foundry, or camera tracker in CS6, use it. So, we're just going to track this real quick, you know. Oh, so anyways, why is this shit is tracking? Yeah, pretty much fuck it. I'm just going to wait and tell y'all in a minute. Be right back. Okay, now it's done. So what you want to do is pretty much select a point or pretty much, you know, around the door. So I'm going to choose this one because it's how I had it. Yeah. So, okay. What you want to do is now grab your door. And like this tutorial, I haven't saw nobody else do this because it's original. That's all I'm going to say because we put in the door in this and this. Yeah. Anyway, so hit the little cute, make it 3D. Uh, what you want to do is hit P on your keyboard, get the position, and come up to the null. And what you want to do is just copy down these numbers. Because I'm pretty sure you're not a motion track. If y'all don't, you'll need to learn. Okay, so pretty much it's track now. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is Yeah. Hit S on your keyboard for scale. Click that little button right there. Like a uh, safety pin or whatever the fuck you wanna call it. So just move it up in position because we know. We're gonna first down. Wait, hold on. Hit R, rotate it. Which one is it? Is the, yeah, it's the Y. So just rotate it. Get it straight to like it's facing. Uh, yeah, that's good enough. Anyways, hit scale. S, scale it up. Just, you know, make it, make it fit the door, you know. Right there, up a little bit more. Okay, yeah, whatever. That's good enough. Okay. Yeah. So now you see we got the door in place. It's most attracted everything. And what you want to do now is duplicate the clip. No, just delete. The camera tracker stuff. Uh, bring the clip on the top. Hide it. And what you want to do now, we are going to be masking this out the barrel. So just get close in, you know, whatever. Mask this barrel out. Do a little quick, you know, rough. 
rough mask around it for the tutorial. But when y'all doing it, of course, take your time. Okay, boom. There we go. Sorry, looking like a door now. So what you want to do now is hit M and hit the um, keyframe button because we're going to uh, track the mask. So just hit the uh, mask path keyframe button. And I'm going to quickly track this. Well, what I do normally is go up, you know, 20 frames. So just hit page down two times with shift. And that's 20 frames. So I'm just going to track this real quick and be right back. Okay, I'm back. And I'm done with this. Okay, I'm done with the uh, tracking it, you know. See? Nice, smooth. I like the door already there. Okay, so now we got that done. What you want to do now is mask out the doorway on the same clip. So let's just make this a quick mask real quick. Next thing you know, just make sure the door fits and shit. You know me, I'm just rushing it. Not caring. Um, hide the door so you can see. What I did was stayed around the crease of the black layers or the black line. Trace around, uh, you know, the garbage can. You can always fix them later. Okay, there we go. Turn the door back on. I hit M again. And which one to put the second one is on subtract. And there you go. I probably could have scaled the doors up if it was alright like I did on the other one, but it's a tutorial. Really don't care. So, what you want to do again? Is hit keyframe on the math path, and we're going to track this one again. Yay. So I'll be right back when it's done. Okay, I'm back. It's done. Fucking Countasia crashed on me. But anyways, before I had left, I had this to add, and you want it to none. You see it? Yeah. You, you, you can just see pretty much. That's explanatory. Yeah. So, pretty much after you track it, or make the keyframes, it should look like this. Yeah, so that's pretty much it right there. Um, you know, just take your time, like I said, to resize the door, make sure the door fit. Me being too lazy because it's just a tutorial. Yeah. Okay, so now what we want to do is animate the door. So what we want to do is click on the door. P um, image, hit P, okay, keyframe the position, go forward to whatever you want, and drag it down, highlight those, hit F9, yeah, Oh, just to let y'all know, I changed the shortcuts on my Camtasia to where I could hit F9. So, y'all will have to do that. I can't show you a tutorial on that because, you know, it won't let me when you're doing that. So, anyways, yeah, this the animation part of it. Yeah, so pretty much, that's that's pretty much it right there. And pretty much what I did for the element, for the text, all I did was add a new solid layer, no matter what color, effects, video copilot, element, 
uh, let me just type just type that for right now go back down I'm pretty sure oh uh, what you want to do for the environment control duplicate this again just delete it and hide it and for the environment like a uh, texture map whatever the fuck you want to call them or some other shit yeah just add that the second image you know the, sec the second layer of the clip to there and just add your text there to the text and mask layer it's got a scene set up extrude hit the environment go down to the clip that we use and just throw some bubbling boss on there y'all could you know, I wouldn't know how to do it it's whatever okay so so what you want to do is come down to group one look particle okay so what you want to do is come back down to the no the track the track no go back up to the um element layer and just copy the numbers and paste them in there too and that's pretty much how you do it okay and rotation of course get it right higher sometimes you know just move it around till you get it at to where you want it at uh what you want to do is drag the element layer under the door image and yeah there you go and yeah that's how you have it and yeah your text if your text is a little bit long enough it should it should uh get masked behind the door because don't forget we mask this layer the door later and everything so yeah pretty much simple easy <laughs> that's how you do it you know just add your particles whatever throw some cc on there and yeah that's how you got it you got an original tutorial door animation or whatever you want to call it mm, yeah that's pretty much it for the tutorial unless i'm forgetting something uh, uh nope i'm not forgetting nothing that's pretty much it yeah don't forget to like comment the video subscribe and pretty much that's it this your boy kobe i'm out this bitch bang bang